guys, welcome. My name is Keith and we're here. See a photograph and you see the windows and you think, oh. well, it's operating at about twice the altitude of a regular airline. We will be going on board the plane. We're going to be doing that in just a... So uh, I think it's fair to say that Concord is, is the most... Not many people realize that it had to look like 550 miles an hour, is that the faster a plane goes, it compresses the air more quickly than it is. It's compressed too much. If you need to remember this, this is really hack, H-A-A-C, hack body. It's... It's the ratio that you've got to pay attention to of the diameter of the plane and the length. You need something very long and skinny and pointy at both ends. Can this still The air rubbing no. against the skin no. of the aircraft is going to heat it up a lot of heat because you're flying twice as high as a regular airliner. That's solar radiation. The Avro Vulcan, and it's a bomber designed. Hey. They were stored in the pods you see under the wings here, two by two. The front is where you see the red line on the side. You have about 10 feet of space then before you even get to the engine. The fuel for this aircraft is stored in 11 tanks. But the wings of a plane like this can't be built like the wings on a tank. You need the big triangular plane off the ground. That's called vortex. Thing. It's really cool for not the very back of the plane, <laughs> just in case they move up their bumper wheel. Why is it like a funky thing? Actually, the nose moves. It does. It's and do watch, well, you guys are the other way. Watch your heads on the way in. It's a really low overhead. Ha, ha, ha.